So today we're going to go over some of the exercises we've been working on with Mr. Bailey. Bailey, come. Bailey, come. I like to say two times maximum as to not overload him. Bailey, sit. Bailey, down. And the clickable moment for that is the instance that the elbows hit the floor. For the sit, it's when the butt hits the floor. Bailey, stay. Here for this one, I like to hold out my hand and tell them to stay. Uh, it's nice if they were able to run across the street, uh, still be able to see your hand if there's a lot of noise going on. Bailey, stay. Take a few paces back. Wait here. The two criteria we can tweak on this are distance and duration. He's doing excellent with both. So we'll stand back there for a period of time. Return to him, give him a treat. Bailey, stay. This time we'll go uh, travel over to the other side. Give a little bit more distance for him here. Make it a little bit more difficult. A little bit more time. Here I'm going to drag a treat up towards my face and call his name so we'll make eye contact. Bailey. That's the easy rendition. Uh, another rendition is I'll pull the treats uh, out towards my side so he follows them. Bailey. Excellent. The second that his eyes come back is the clickerable moment for that. Bailey. Excellent. So we should want him to get used to making eye contact with us every time we say his name. Bailey. Very good, sir. Now I'm going to toss a treat on the floor here. Swoop around the other side. Bailey. Excellent. The instance that he turns towards me is the clickable moment. Bailey. Very good. Another one of those. Bailey. Perfect. So we should want him to get used to if he's going on a walk. Bailey. Then you say his name and he gets used to turning towards you. Try one more. Bailey. Good. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Good. Worked on a leave it exercise. Want to make sure that he is comfortable with uh, leaving any object that he may see.